um, foundation get involved in the European structural funds? We started uh, operating structural funds uh, in 2008. At the beginning of 2008, we wrote uh, proposals to the ministry. We applied for a substantial amount of money, 100 million euro. And we received the funds at the end of 2008. What, what um, um, made you think to use the structural funds? Where did the idea come from um, before you were relying on your mm. own endowment? And so Indeed, yeah, we operated on our own endowment all the time. And uh, still, we still do it. But in 2007, Poland acquired uh, a substantial amount of funds for science for funding research projects, for funding research infrastructure and we wanted to make uh, the best uh, use possible for that funds as well for the issues which are most important to us because we always stress uh, all sorts of support to young researchers for instance. So you saw this as an opportunity to use the foundation's expertise rather than relying on some other organization to use these funds. That was the idea behind it. That was our idea and the idea was welcomed by the, by the ministry, in fact. Uh, they liked very much the way we see the problems, we see the issues and we, uh, we, 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 de we design, in fact, the support. We design the programs uh, with structural funds. It's different from normal foundation life. Yes? And usually foundations are very flexible. They react uh, in a way that is very open to all needs. And now we had to design something for seven years, and to to design it so so nicely that we will be happy would be happy with that for seven years. So that was difficulty to make everything in uh, from from the beginning to work uh, in a way we really think is, is the best. That was probably, that was perhaps one difficulty. Another one was just to be to get used to all sorts of report, reporting, auditing, controlling procedures, and so on. But in fact, as today we we counted that uh, perhaps ten percent of our time is devoted to to reporting. So it's not not mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. To a foundation who might be interested mm -hmm. in. Um, pursuing uh, structural funds as an intermediary, as, mm -hmm. as your foundation is, what advice would you mm -hmm. give them in terms of before mm -hmm. they set out to do that? Yes, there are several advice. Uh, first of all, you try to get funds uh, based on indicative uh, proposal, not on the competitive proposal. So do not uh, try to get uh, an agreement with the ministry or with the, with the agency in your country to be funded uh, right when you when you meet certain criteria when you when you make certain requirements and you are free to negotiate with the ministry the shape of the project later on as well so that, that would be the first thing just to to get a good position and to, 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 to still be a beneficiary and not implementing body, not get into the system of implementing because you, get, uh, you will need to do many things you don't like to do. In fact, as foundation, you have to be more uh, subject to political changes in the country or the political ideas which if they change, if you are implementing body, but you are a beneficiary. You have a contact for seven years, and uh, what's written there, you just do it for seven years, and no one can oh, really? can you know. Yeah. There are some foundations, even in Poland, who are just entering the public uh, uh, role, in fact, and objectives, and and the system of implementation of the of the funds. So they behave like uh, public agencies, in fact. The foundations is certainly greater impact you can reach with greater funds, more appropriate funds. You can award more people be better projects and uh, more costly operations. That's first. The second, uh, you will, you will create, yes, because of that you create a sort of uh, a society of your 
uh, of your beneficiaries of the end users you help them so for them it's, it's really something important that they apply to to us not to the public agency if they apply to public agency there are different requirements mm -hmm. for us it's simpler to apply and we can agree to many things in our context and uh, they won't usually agree that uh, with the ministry for instance is, for in is um, the fact that when you sign a contract with the ministry for, for structural fund project, you have to give them guarantees in form of bonds, check in blanco, uh, uh, land, uh, goods, whatever. But they need to have a guarantee. Mm. But if they, someone applies to us, we don't require a guarantee. Okay, so yeah, it allows more people to apply exactly. that are more... more the young people, yes, people who can who just have not established yet, mm -hmm. are not established in institutions yet, but they, they need um, this support, so they, they apply to us. Um, and I guess you're close to the end of this first program then, mm -hmm. so do you plan to uh, reapply for more funds? In this? Yes, we will repeat again the same process, uh, starting now. We will work closely with the ministry, with, the, with another agency in Poland for implementing body and we try to just set up some rules, some programs for future where we, we wish really to, to be involved.